On today's episode, we're going to be making this board out of old skateboards. Stick around and watch how we make it. Hi, I'm Sean. Welcome to the shed. Follow me down the drive. Okay, so today in the workshop, I've got a little project to do for my barbers. Um, they've had a bit of a refurb. They used to have skateboards all over the walls. So my barbers gave me all the skateboards. I said, make something with them. I've already made a prototype. Some of you may have seen it on my Instagram. So a little dinky thing. But in the meantime, let's get started in the shed. It's a bit nippy in here. I need a new haircut as well, so I need to get this done so I can get that back to the barbers. If I don't go to the barbers with it in my hands, I'm not going to get a haircut. I think the beard needs doing as well. See you soon. The plan for today's build is actually taken from construct101.com for a 2x4 bench build. I've adapted it slightly and I will be using pressure treated 2x4 timber from my local um, big box store. After cutting the legs, I then had to cut a one foot six inch long piece, the two before, into one and a half inch thick strips. This is to form the top of each of the leg fittings. So the top piece is fairly easy, that's a pile of Now all the parts are cut for the leg assemblies, I'm going to connect them together with some decking screws. I'm going to draw pilot holes then connect through the screws. The top of the legs need to be one foot and one inch apart and the bottom needs to be two foot and one inch apart. Um, these are all detailed in the plans which are available in the link below. Let's right into the corner. Next piece is a little bit more. This is where the measurement has to come in. This top piece is going to be one foot. together I got the measurement slightly wrong on this and after doing a, an initial assembly I had to undo some of this and adjust it by about an inch. So the block of wood I put in there is six inches high it should have been um, five inches allowing for another spacer which is going to go at the top of the leg. On each side piece I attach a two foot back rest which is going to form the main um, connectivity between the, the two leg assemblies.
The first cross brace which will connect the two leg assemblies together is cut at a 15 degree angle to match the uprights that are on both leg assemblies. Fitting the cross member will be a bit tight, I thought I'd preload the screws into the end pieces. So I've been to the barbers, I've got a few skateboards to play with. Forgot to get my hair cut though, back in a minute. Alright, got my hair cut this time, and one last skateboard. Alright, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work out which pieces are going to go on the I attempted to cut the skateboards on a couple of different ways. Um, this was the most stable when it came to actually just ripping them in half. Obviously upside down, they're gonna rock back and forth. Using the cross cut sled is fairly stable if you just lay them down and as long as you've got the, the mark in the right place, they're simple to cut. Either using the table saw or the band saw, the um, grip tape on the sk skateboards generates quite a few little sparks. Uh, it's quite off point when you first use it. Here I'm just cutting the cutouts which will sit around the arms of the chair or the legs of the chair, so for the uprights and the, the seat pieces. <laughs> Just rounding over the edges on the armrest, make it a little bit more comfortable. Another bit I really hate, it's time to sand it, give it all a little bit of a sand down. I know it's pressure treated, I shouldn't really have to treat it, but I just want to make sure it's looking good as well. So a quick sand down with a random orbital. Followed by a liberal coat of an exterior wood 
paint. I've chosen slate grey here because it matches a similar colour to the barbershops so actually have been painted recently. A late addition to the project, as the chair is going to be sat outside, I didn't want the actual um, wooden feet to be sat on the floor. So I got a set of um, new skate wheels and I flipped them on the side and used them as solid feet to go into the bottom of the actual legs. These should last a long time. So that's how I made this. It's quite simple. Simple two before design for the actual frame. Skateboards you can get from anywhere. If I could do anything different, I want to make a adapter for the feet so I can lift it up on one end and wheel it around. So it's gonna go outside. If you've got any comments about the build or anything I could do differently or you wanna see coming up, drop them in the comment section down below. There's a subscribe button in the top corner if you wanna stick around and watch some more videos. If you wanna watch them now, there's usually a playlist down the bottom. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you next time on Sean and Chad.